Huh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Great Night Pre-Show. Uh, gr green Room, Great Room, whole dang thing. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show. Green Room, Great Room, Navigator. We're going to be... Uh, got a great show coming up for you today. We got special guests Mike TV and uh, Trey are in the house, so that'll be pretty fun. Uh, we got some great stories, a few things from RTX, and a few things not from RTX, I think. Uh, and we're also gonna do a fun, uh, fun music-infused game. Don't you love when your games are infused with music? It's a fantastic time. Oh. Well, I think that we are going to take it over to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Ahoy! We hear you. We hope you enjoy the dulcet tones of our air conditioning unit. There we go. That's there. how you know we're rich, motherfuckers. Mike, you bring the chair. Hi, everybody. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> All right. There's a lot. Shit. No, no, no. I'll turn uh, off if the If you want to be on fine. the line, you No, I hear you. I, I get it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and that's that. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Jeez. Whoa, Jeez my, Louise. My good. And, and to think, we solved the whole debate right before we started. Mm -hmm. We did. And then we all we forgot did. it. Do, do any of you guys remember what the debate was? Wait, are Chickens. we not doing the bit where we talk and then we introduce everybody? Uh, well, I, uh, you know what? That's a good point. Yeah. We should point out that... That was the debate. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. debate was whether or not we introduced the Green Room segment as a free-form discussion where yeah. we get loose and just talk about whatever's on our mind. Because there's going to be a lot of voices yeah. on this episode of the Green Room. I feel like we should introduce we should, everyone. We should introduce everybody I'm so everybody knows. Justin Robert Young. You're doing a deliberately... <laughs> A deliberate obfuscation oh. that is not helping. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Also, apparently the audio is fucked. <laughs> oh. 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 Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're coming in to fix the audio. Yes. Okay. I don't know whether or not we should actually restart. If that's the case. We can't. Oh, we're, we're gonna keep, keep going. going. Just keep, yeah, going. keep okay. going. All right. Hey, I'm Brian Brushwood. This is just Robert Young. Yes. Or Robert Justin Young, if you're at RTX. No, or it's Young Young, young Justin Robert, Robert Justin. <laughs> That's what. All right, can we tell this story? Yeah, I so think we, we can. do. Uh, 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 by the way, Bonnie Brushwood joining us. Hello, Bonnie. Hello. Brett Weaver. No, you have to talk into the mic because <laughs> Mike. <TV>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't think y'all actually cared, but Brett <laughs> Weaver. <laughs> Brett Weaver. Hello, everyone. And Mike TV. Hey, everybody. Michael Television is here. Open Bayou is here. Open Bayou. How's it going? Uh, there it is. Uh, and we are going to be joined at some point by one of the main characters of our weekend. Uh, uh, Mark from the uh, uh, speakeasy that we went yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit uncomfortable because when we're just on stage talking, it's easy to use other human beings as props. But then they show up at your studio and suddenly they're real human beings. And yeah. You reconsider your life choices. and. Oh, you know what? What? I've been listening or re-listened to Tina, Tina Fey's. Uh, uh Girl audio boss? book. Yeah, the 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 bossy pants. Bossy pants. Boss, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just amazing. And and for like uh as long as that book is, I always feel like I've got a best friend and then she le dumps me because she's got no more <laughs> She book. just gets distracted. Yeah, Look, she gets she's distracted. got a lot of best friends. I know. I'm speaking for Tina Fey, not myself. Yeah, anyway, so we have a great time and then she's gone. But that's okay, I forgive her. So, I don't think that there's ever been an encapsulation of a psychological problem more than what you just said <laughs> <laughs> about your your inability to enjoy things what? because they might end Aww, although yeah. although uh i do love it whenever bonnie listen i've never listened to it but i get all the texts when bonnie listens to it and she sends me bon mots like uh the show doesn't start uh, uh, on uh, or when it's time it starts what was it no, when no, it's no. ready it oh. doesn't start when it when it's finished, it starts at eight thirty. Yes, yeah. Regardless, yeah. So uh, like, which, which or I whatever time it to, was, yeah. yeah. It was just like, yeah, no. We that was a Lauren Michaels uh, tidbit. He was like, no, you don't just keep working it. You you start on time. So. You go, yeah, yeah you ship. You go. But um, you ship or you hit the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, so listening to, wait, what were you saying though? Because then you, you interrupted and then I got lost. You were talking about too many bits. Too many bits. Too on many the dance. bits on the dance oh, floor. No, no, no. Too she, many bits. Yeah, she was talking about like when they, <laughs> when they were talking about the sneakers. When like like they are like yes, they're necessary. So you're you're doing uh, uh, Palin as you know like an impersonation of Palin, and then Palin shows up and sneaks up behind you. So like you know they they were uh, Saturday Night Live does that all the time, right? Yeah. So like they're like yes we have to do that, but it's so painful. It is like really hard to have like the person that you're talking about in the room with you because then all of a sudden all the comedy is out the window. Like you only get like this much of what you can actually do. <laughs> because yeah, because yeah. most of it is like ah the thing is happening. That's where all the energy is going to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so now we got a sneaker on the episode. So, so yeah, so Mark will be here, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of our some of our, our our fun exploits at the bar over the weekend. But yep, Brian. Yep. Uh, anything else on Earth? Topics. Go. Uh, <laughs> turns out I remember most of my magic act. <gasps> hey. Oh, Harder than I expected. Yay! Uh, although, although it was really fun. Uh, 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 Brett, you had a unique perspective because you could tell when I was getting back on script. You could tell when something didn't go according to plan. Uh, but, but I don't know. And 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 if I ain't said this publicly, I deeply want to thank Justin Robert Young for building a muscle that I never knew existed in my comedy brain by being able to. Um, uh, I, 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 uh, oh, what is he gonna do? Sorry, what's he gonna should do? Should I take the call? Yeah, you from should. My wife? You should. You should tell All her right. she's on the air. She'll love that. Hi, uh, wife. You're on the air. We're live on the air. Hi, internet. You have somebody who's trying to show up and driving up and down the street and can't find a location. So I need to send him the uh, the building number. Oh, let's let's oh, do that wait, on wait, the to, air. To the that'd studio. Be, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, the, the, I, I sent him the address down the street looking for it so can you send me the number or send him send me the number to send the number there's no there's no other number that i have to give other than the address to the property thank, but thank you bryce you're, you're welcome <laughs> okay uh, oh that was really weird i thought i thought she was like bye, just guys. calling okay. justin bye, bryce <laughs> Kisses. Oh my God! Typical Bryce. Wow. Thank you for what the excuses, that? mate. What is this? That's uh, that's erotic. Uh, <laughs> so the magic show was utterly wonderful because it was old, old, like twenty-year-old written material mm -hmm. fused with um. 10 year old written material in teaching magic with uh, the various scam school bits uh, fused with four year old uh, night attack great night material with Justin oh, shit. and all of it. I think really... I sent him the wrong address. <laughs> uh... Oops. Good job, Justin. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. He's in so, Wyoming. So did, uh, uh, is it you remember? Did Justin listen when I thanked him? No. No. I yes. think he no, did. No, 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 no. The muscle that uh, you yeah. built. You built the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said the right one. I thought you were building those muscles with me, and now I'm a little sad. So now you're building muscles what, with what other muscle people. Did you have him built for you? Well, I mean, technically they're cockles. <laughs> <laughs> cockles, cockles and muscles. Alive, alive, oh, god damn it! Am I the only one? I'm Irish. I get to say that. I don't know what you were saying. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, like, uh, I'm Scottish. Scottish. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, you, you're not Scottish. Yeah, my DNA thing changed. It went from <laughs> Irish. They said you're no longer oh my Irish. God. Hold on. This is an aspect of Ancestry.com, 23andMe that I never considered. Is that you find out what you are and you and adopt all of these 
<laughs> tribal symbols, and then you find out that you're actually another thing, and then you just drop one and put on the other. Yeah, they totally did. They were just like, you're Irish. Oh, we're kidding. You're Scottish. Did they send you like a, a revision? Did they say, oh, no, I, I was like, Irish? like years ago when we did it, it was all like, oh, Irish from this region, blah, blah. And then it went on again recently, and it was just like, all those numbers that were saying you were Irish, well, no, they're yeah, Scottish. They, got, they, so, got, they wow. gathered more information yeah. so they can. Yeah, yeah. So more there's more, there. there's more like of my family members, I think, that have like done the experiment. Mm. And so then it may be fed so into that do, whole thing. Do, do you think people like so, pick and choose where it's like if it's a country and a culture you like, you really adopt it. But if you're related to like, you know, a murderer, you don't adopt the persona of, of like a oh, acquitted murderer. I don't know. Like, I mean, what if you're, you're, you, I mean, cause I think we have a little Viking in us too, right? Like Murderers. <laughs> well, exactly well, I don't you... know that you could have picked a better example. But yeah. I, I don't yeah. think it's so much the murderer as the rapist part. Of the, <gasps> oh. Yeah. So, well. Oh, 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 man. Why? Oh, why? Why? Oh, Vasagu. Anyways. Hmm. Unshield, yeah, I forced a key. Gonna sit down, gang, dude. Wait. That means I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Erotic. <laughs> Way to ruin it. It's not rape if you're into it. God damn it. Ah. Ah, darn. Anyways. <laughs> so. Historically, though, historically, like historically. many hundred years in the past. So yeah. So. We've all had to live with it. Back then, it was called. Cultural merging, I guess. I don't know. Let's move it on. Right. Uh, we're moving it on. Yeah. It's, the, uh, it's the end of the school year. I did a magic show. You yes, did a Brian. Magic Brian. Show. I remember yeah. everything worked, which that alone I didn't know whether or not was going to happen. Uh, oh. Whether or not the lesson, right, here, here, the here, here, teaching switch, magic switch stuff. With me. All right. Uh, uh, go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Swear to God, I'm going to tell this story. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I believe in you. Was this, was this Yep, 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 yep. Um, uh, but uh, no, it was, it was, it was, it was good. I, I still am coming to yeah. grips with the reality. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen, Mark. Everybody, Hello, Mark. come on in, come on in, wow. sit on down. We're gonna split a mic. Oof. Sorry for giving you the wrong address. Oh, Brian then, is telling oh, a story. Wrong, yeah. Brian is telling a story. And Here, finally, ahead. I took my bow. <laughs> Uh, you did. Oh, you no, just no, missed no. it. Luckily, you're the last one who's going to come in unannounced through that door in three, two, one. one. Trey's out there. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. I so, thought I at least did my Kramer entrance, but I guess you don't have the door on, on the cameras. So, uh, so, so uh, uh, Brian does his magic show, which uh, parts of which he has not done in how many years? Uh, uh, well, there was a pandemic. A, a bit. Yeah. yeah. So at least. Um, uh, actually, uh, to to quote myself from Great Night, like, how long was it since China invented the coronavirus? <laughs> yeah, it didn't go over great. I mean, in the panel, it was. Yeah. It, it got and so it got Brian, a chuckle after in the forcing audience. a card, then went into twenty minutes about how Dr. <laughs> Fauci funded gain of function research. Gain of function. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, you you are, are doing your magic act, and I come out and hype you. Uh, before the the bit, I made sure because I was I was trying to figure out uh, uh, the the comedy thing we were going to do in between, which is me doing the all set up magician, right? Which which for folks who have never is seen it, is that the first time you've seen it? Well, you were you were you were I too busy. Have no idea what I was. Yeah, Mark, into. perfect. Mark, perfect. Mark, Mark, perfect. Mark, don't worry. Mark was the bartender at the bar we were getting too fucked up to be on stage at uh, uh, while all this was happening. So uh, I, I go out and and I'm thinking before the show about like, okay, I got I just need Brian to know what my fake performance name is because the bit is going to be that Justin Robert Young comes out and introduces him. And then there's going to be another name that Brian has never heard of, which I believe is Robert Justin Young. Yes, and so is to make what sure, was on the piece of paper, it's sure. not what was on the piece of paper. Really? Oh. Yes, mm. I made sure mm -hmm. to hand Brian a piece of paper that said it was Young Robert Justin, and Brian hands me the piece of paper back and says, "Hey, you need this for the end." And I'm like, "No, no, no, we have the sealed envelope at the end. This oh, is no. for you to know 
what the name is. But if you know the name, then that's fine. I could just throw it away. And Brian goes, yeah. And hands me back the thing. And then, of course, fucks up the name. Uh, look, <laughs> if the only person I disappointed was Justin, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm, all the if Scottish, the only two people all I disappointed. Scottish part of me is so disappointed. <laughs> uh, uh, but otherwise, I mean, the show it, itself was fucking immaculate. It was, it was great. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to have more routines that don't require, I don't know, three hours of setup. Uh, because everything besides what Spoken like, like I, a magician. <laughs> Ladies no. and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo. Bryce Castillo. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna fix the thing here, but sure. continue talking. Oh. Well, I was gonna ask you a question. Well, what's up? Uh, ask me a question. I'm right here. Hey, yeah. everybody. Hey. hey. Uh, uh, so, uh, okay. <laughs> what one of the things yeah. was uh, having Bryce <laughs> run sound, <laughs> and I realized. Uh -huh. I only had music. One, two. Oh, what are we doing? I'm listening. Uh, well, uh, okay. Sorry. Live. Yes. We're doing live podcasting. That's what we're doing. I, 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 because things get I probably shouldn't be talking to the one who's trying to fix the tech thing That's right, right now. Right. Go. Ah. But you're doing it. Okay. Uh, nope, I can't. Okay. I got Then nothing. talk about something else for two minutes. All right. Hey, Mark, what's going on, man? I honest to God feel like I walk. This is what it feels like when people speak a language around you and you have no idea what the fuck is being said. And you're just like, the fuck are they talking about? Pull phones out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt about it instantly. <laughs> uh, well, th this is a lot, a lot to jump into, especially considering this is. Idea what I'm doing okay, all right, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Mark, like... Mark, 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 Mark. Uh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Are you with me? Are you with me? I'm with okay, you. Okay, okay. Safe. Everything's safe. Everything's good. <sighs> yeah. This just, is the pre-show. Yeah. It, it. The stakes are so low that I tried to strike up a conversation with the person trying to fix the tech. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how low the stakes That's are. That's how low. Okay. That's how low. And just right? like that, exactly All right. disappeared. Okay. Just okay. Like okay. That. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. We're Not good. the real show. Not the real show. Mark, this is my wife, Bonnie. Hi. Nice to meet you, Bonnie. Nice to meet you. I am the one who got them drunk the other day. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> officer. Uh, I, I would say. You already told on yourself. You introduced me as the bartender. You got you drunk on stage, pretty much. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No, but that's our shit. Yeah. Like, 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 that's, that, that's what we do. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Give us one very tiny slice of a Mark story because we want to plumb the depths of like, like Mark is one of those folks who just endless supply of stories. And we are, we are, we are going to tell our story from, from Saturday on, on the main show, but, uh, uh, uh just a, a, a war story from behind the bar. I left the country for two months, and it was because of this specific moment. I was working at a bar where we had 950 bottles of whiskey, so it was like working at a library. And I've worked at a library before. Um, time, time out, time out. This is how you win at Don't Get Brewed. <laughs> Yeah. You call you call yeah. a shot. Yeah. You give details, yeah. and you we're all anticipating the conflict. Because by the way, also no one's gonna boo you when you say, "And I've worked at a library." Yeah. <laughs> like right. that's like a, you're you're already you are you are on track. Um, well, the only reason I was in the library was because I was doing a diversion, and they're like, "You either do community service or you find a public thing." And I was like, "I'm at the library seven <laughs> days a week," but that's another story. Um, <laughs> so, uh, by the way. From the chat, I was about to say that was the perfect story intro. So you're already winning. <laughs> you're doing this. Also, who the fuck is Meryl Barr? Uh, nobody knows. Jesus Christ. It's an Jesus. enigma. So, no, don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Just know he's delighted. <laughs> um, this group of seven comes in, and I'm from Missouri. So Ozarks? Yeah. Yep. That's my backyard. Group of seven comes from the Ozarks. I can barely understand them because of their accent. They're from the South. The I can constant barely drug them. dealing. They were kind of shitty to me, and they go, we'll be right back. We're going to go to a tiki bar. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. They're going to drink 151. <laughs> they come back, and they're shit hammer drunk. No, wait. Did, did they leave a tab? Did they like, like, like okay. So, so, so they close up. They tip 25%. I was like, okay. I judged. Good tip. Good tip. I judged. Yeah. I judged. Shame on me. Wait, you judged them 
Oh, because they're from the Ozarks. Oh, okay. that's why. Oh, I got it. I, I, I was like, I, uh, <laughs> you're from Lake of the Ozarks, think, Missouri. God damn it! It's, <laughs> is twenty is twenty five percent not enough now? I, 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 no, 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 no. He judged him walking in. Yeah. yeah. All right. He's all right. like, I look at these yeah. fucking. Uh, yeah. But I wasn't wrong. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, so they come back. A tale of how prejudice is right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> then I read Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Uh, and that's this is the story that made me leave the country for two and a half months, and I went to the jungle in the middle of nowhere, no internet. I didn't even wear shoes for two and a half months. Amsterdam. Another story. Another story. Um, they're shit hammered drunk, and I'm making drinks, and I just look up. And I look at the table and I see a lady with an empty pint glass and she's just throwing up into it. Uh, like, but trying to be discreet. So it's not like, bleh, it's just like a blip, blip. So would you, would, 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 would you describe sense. it like, like the method that somebody who's like chewing dip would, would like, like, <laughs> like just kind of give a little <laughs> spit to? No, when you're poor and you're eating shitty oatmeal with pineapples that aren't real. <laughs> That's what, that's what that is. Okay, again, <laughs> this is how you very win at Don't Get Brody. It's hey, in I the bartend. details. I, I'm all about flavors, and that's yeah. a flavor on its own. <laughs> and It's not enough that there's chunks of pineapple. It's, it's that they're not real. They're fake. Oh, yeah, all right. And I go up, and I go, ma'am, I'm going to, and she just goes like this. A hand to the face, for the record. does this. Here you go. Oh. That's the that first. That's the first time that I've ever allegedly touched a patron in a way that I probably shouldn't have. I monkey gripped her forearm. I pressed it down to the table in front of all eight of her Ozark family members. <laughs> And I go, ma'am, put the goddamn vomit glass on the table right fucking now. Oh. Did, did, did your right hand go to your holster? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like my it. God. <laughs> For the record, Mark has just brandished an actual knife. <laughs> an actual knife. Now that is a great way to tell a story. <laughs> Invoke actual fear in your audience. Yeah. Also, a uh, uh, I just... dare I say a practiced maneuver. <laughs> yeah. That knife. Hey, if you're gonna quickly. carry, know how to what weapon you're carrying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Prop, you're 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 like the Gallagher of knives. Nope. Uh... <laughs> I got another one. That's oh, right. Right. I live really did. I live in downtown Austin. Like carry something. <laughs> Uh, uh, so wait, so wait a minute. So so you uh, goon hand this lady. How does the family take it? They kept their goddamn mouth shut. Oh, no, so they knew that shit had crossed the line. Yeah. They they were yeah. here. God. She vomited in a glass and gave it to him like yeah. a but you would but full glass of vomit, it's, not even half waste full. Like talk about a half empty glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> but but I mean you as a bartender know like like there is no limit to how tribal people will get if somebody is fucking with one of their people, they will start shit for the dumbest fucking reasons. Dumber than even filling a vomit glass. Oh, man. I'm not gonna say this over, but I was just like that week my uh the owner had called me a really bad racial slur. So at that point, oh. I just didn't. What give a was shit. it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, just, it was <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's wild, and I just didn't give a shit at that point anymore. If they all beat me there, at Tip. least there was no vomit on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the worst case it? scenario, the worst case scenario is that you, you had your ass beat and then a bunch of vomit poured on you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that is a non-zero you know, chance. That been the finishing. I guess there would only be there. one thing worse than that, <laughs> but I we'll talk about that later. Why? Worse than getting sprayed with a bomb. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a short story. <laughs> wow. Wait. Wh- uh, what? 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 Oh, just earlier also today. coming. Huh? Also, no. if they busted nuts, <laughs> yeah. all of them just, just they, they made they, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all of them all like you could take this and the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is that is a horrifying <laughs> idea. You get you get the shit kicked out of you. You get puked up on you, and then you're an Oki Cookie. Like that's <laughs> that's a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. That's some shit from a Polanak novel. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you hand your your undies, and you're like, "Don't worry, I got a vasectomy. Give her a wink." <laughs> that would be the weirdest thing to be said after that situation. <laughs> this is true. 
I, I, I know what the after party looks like. I feel like we can top that. Okay, so after... All right, so you are you are on the floor. You've had your ass beaten by the Ozark gang. Puke has been poured on you. And then apparently nobody else is coming to your rescue because they've stayed around enough to ookie cookie you. Like, what is the, what is the closing uh, 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 get off my damn plane kind of one-liner? Going back to the Ozarks, I mean, we've all seen Deliverance, so I don't need to say anything else. Oh, no. Oh, so you would say it would end in, Burt in Reynolds a, in showed a, in a, up and yeah. chewed all the scenery. Oh, it's Ozark people. It was really hard to get through the rest you of the show. You put on a vest, <laughs> and then the you go scenery. in a canoe. And hey, but he was hot. Burt Reynolds was... There we go. <laughs> yeah. I actually, but Burt uh, Reynolds t- was hot. But Burt Reynolds was hot. There we go. This is true. This is true. True, true, true. That is the number one review on IMDb about... About deliverance. And in fact, you know, all the uh, IMBD is usually yes. just very savvy. I am B I am No, I am B D. No, I am B D. It's the website for my favorite law and order actor. I am B D.com. Yep. Uh, audio's working. Hey, what's going on? Yo. Hi, everybody. Yo. Hey. Uh, Bryce, save yes. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bryce, what's going on in your life? Uh, we finished up RTX. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We did RTX. Uh, oh, uh, what I was going to ask you while you were solving technical yeah. problems was uh, uh, it was it – was, I know that one of uh, Bryce's pet peeves is is an insufficient amount of time to prepare for things. Um, Bryce specifically said, yeah, hey, so about your magic show. I was like, I know what you're about to say, Bryce. You're about to say, I would like to walk through all of the tech cues so I get them all right. And Bryce said, that's exactly right, Brian. And I said, cool, we'll do that. And then I didn't. Uh, I gave him exactly <laughs> one minute and said, yeah. press one, two, three. I don't know. Uh, and, and, and it worked. No, there's. Can I can I tell you from an outsider's perspective when yeah. I know that Bryce is annoyed that he doesn't have enough time to prepare for things. Sure. There's one sound <laughs> that emanates from the Bryce vessel. <laughs> oh my wait, god! Wait, wait, can, can I guess can, it? Can we, can yeah. we do can it guess in it? in the round? Yeah. Uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, all right, you're Bryce. Yeah. Mm. Brian promised you he would give you more warning. Yeah. You've right. not received that much warning. <laughs> right. And go, Bryce. <laughs> Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That that is all one. Okay. It is all. It was That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> Survey <laughs> says three on the board. Oh, three right. on the board. Oh, uh, three on the board was. Ah, ah. Okay, you got yeah. it. You got it. Uh, what? No, 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 no. You go no, no, first. No, you go first. Because yeah, yeah, I've got the number I, one. I, I know I, I'm sitting I need on number one. To give me the bad news. <clears throat> okay, you um didn't. I I don't have time to do the things that you wanted me to do. Let's go. Um, I. I, uh, I, okay. <laughs> you want to know what? Uh, on the board, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, number two on the board. Ah! Well, right, that's only right. because number one is indeed. Okay. Uh, you're right. Number You're one right. is, is it is it is a series of but this is why Bryce is a professional because he is just he's like just enter the information as fast as possible yes. like yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. okay. It's like okay. it's like okay. you're okay. Uh, you're, uh, okay. Okay. You're giving me carrier signal. I just need data. And yes. now go. Yeah. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 go. No feelings or babies <laughs> or bleep plops or jeep chops. No, 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 no. Yes. Hit the button when the thing happens. Because I was I was sitting next to you. I didn't realize that this was the situation. <laughs> but I, I hear Bryce going, okay. 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 And I'm like, oh, okay. This is Brian didn't fucking tell him the cues, uh, and, and so I, I, all, all I hear is Bryce then going like, so when does that happen? <laughs> and Brian's like, ah. Well, and you know, I, I understand. <laughs> and Bryce, hopefully, we're speaking the same shorthand. Okay. I understand what I'm saying is. I am accepting if anything goes oh, yeah. sideways and we'll deal with it. And in fact, there was some moment where I was like, let me get some psychic music. And then I could tell you hit the one that was labeled psychic music. And I was like, oh, not that one. <laughs> and so I just made a joke about it. But yeah. uh, uh, understand, this all comes from a place of earned respect. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo. Oh. Hey! Yeah. 
I was, the, the moment you were describing Justin the, the okay okay oh, yeah. that is a sign that communication is happening at peak performance yeah and we need to <laughs> not interrupt the flow nope the quasars are in line the planets have all shifted into the right angle it, 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 it is a different sound that conveys the exact same utility as <laughs> For you younger kids, that's the carrier connection sound. <laughs> Fuck these kids. I don't give a shit. Whatever. I don't I I care. Be helpful. Who cares? Fuck some kids. Fuck these kids. Fuck these kids. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get my Michael Jordan meme. Fuck these <laughs> kids. Fuck kids. <laughs> the first time that you put your phone right next to you and like you put it a little too much and then that signal hits, so you instantly just drop the phone. You're just like, mm. yeah. For yeah. you young kids. Well, no, no, there, there, there's, there's, no, there's nothing. There was no feeling worse than trying to I am with your uh, crush and then all of a sudden uh, the connection drops and you just hear your mom's voice. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Get out the phone! Get out the phone! Oh, no, she was in the other room. I knew that if I said that kind of stuff, she'd come in. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was just like, oh, sorry about that, mom. Uh, uh, I'm on the phone right now. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, access AOL keywords. <laughs> Isn't it weird that AOL keywords are kind of back? Yeah, are they? It is because it, instead of like a URL, like like you, or or just you need to know the name or something. Like like we were talking about Mike's Mike's new podcast a while ago, and one of the things I asked him earlier was like, okay, it's on the thing. People can just look for the name of it, right? Like it's not even about domains. It's just. Can you be on? Can the, you Google it? Oh uh, yeah, are you Googleable? Well, uh, with the that's right words? definitely the case with podcasts because whenever you know we've done some promo for World's Greatest Con and it's like it's amazing. It's like I feel no need to explain platforms or anything. It's like it's called World's Greatest Con. You'll find it. You'll find yeah, it. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's like that for everything. I feel like even like billboards. There are great billboards around town that don't that just say what the name of the company is. You'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. Crypto what's your favorite? What's your favorite billboard that does that? It's got to be the ABC one, right? The ABC billboards are always the What's best. ABC? The uh, pest control. Oh, yeah. ABC uh, uh, used to be pest and lawn. Now it's uh, home and commercial services. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't have a Is there a quite, thing? Quite, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like their billboards because they always do really creative billboards. Like there was one that they were doing for a while ago up there where it was like just a white uh, – it looked like a white sheet with their logo on it. And every like week or something, it would – peel back a little bit more this photo of a sheet and you would just see the dirty bugs and all the That's stuff cool. under it and so every week it would just get a little bit more pulled back oh wow um yeah like that i i wonder if there'll be like a gross cop. bugs gross bugs <laughs> yeah i guess okay. if you're selling a service to kill gross bugs <sighs> you guys know casino El camino Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? You're Speaking talking about, about gross. Yeah, no, I, I'm curious. Where, where's, <laughs> oh, no, this, no. where's this headed? <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, my, for the audio listeners, every Austin regular just tilted just in. in. No, knowing, like knowing, it. knowing that there's bartender <laughs> chatter about Casino El Camino. <laughs> My parents ran an apartment complex, so I like I've I've found three dead bodies before, and <gasps> uh, yeah. wait, 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 no, let them keep going. Let's okay. no, all no, right, no, go. that's, that's all right. Let, all right. Go. let me come back and I'll fucking tell all these weird ass fucking stories. Oh, I don't oh my my. my, my Ants in Spanish called me in translation a walking chaos that you trip over but you find a way to run away from. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and, that, and that was one word in Espanol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my lady's giving me a tattoo across uh, the Damn street. It. So I'm like, I'm not gonna hang out here. I'm gonna go drink. I see the dude and I can just see he's just like down. And he's, he's a bartender or a patron? No, he's down to climb. He's, he's a patron who uh, is the bug. What is it called? The fumigator, Fumigator. exterminator, oh. fumigator. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And he has four kids. He tells me a little bit of his life story, and I'm just like, damn, that fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> I asked him, I was like, hey, you've been doing this for a while. He goes, 28 years. And when he said that, I could feel the weight. And I go, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? And he said that he was moving like a tile and two tiles fell on the side and he took a cockroach bath. He said that he just kept pouring 
and just pouring. It was like a Trouble with Tribbles like... episode. <laughs> I don't know. Will can... someone please close this hatch? <laughs> that sounds like that <laughs> 70s horror film. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, creep show. all of them. She's no, no. Early 80s, the... that's yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It, 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 yeah. it, it sounds like he said the wrong word on Nickelodeon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you young kids. <laughs> He said, I don't know. They still do it. They still yeah. do it. They dumb slime on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Five minutes. Fuck these kids. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. Like, I, I felt so bad for that man. And I bought him a double shot of Irish whiskey. <laughs> and then you put a cockroach in <laughs> it. And then poured it right on his head. <laughs> <laughs> a roach in the glass. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why this happens to me in my life. I really don't. Uh, well, I mean, I guess you hang around enough bars and you're going to hear the stories. Yeah. Like, like true, that is, like, that is. The city your whole life, you have enough stories. Where, where are you from originally? Kansas City. Born in LA, but home sweet home is Kansas City, Missouri. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fuck Kansas for all your. Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, I know because because it, it's because it, it like, it, like like one half is in Kansas, one half is in Missouri, or is it it's all the shit that matters? Missouri, right? So I went to school for history, and th- my history professor will argue that the start of the Civil War was the border wars between Kansas and Missouri, like the Battle of Westport. You know, it's like you have all these different moments that before it was called the Civil War, it was just a people stealing from the other side and doing weird things so that always kind of stuck so are you certain he called it the civil war and not the war of northern aggression yeah (laughs) also also i could just imagine the ken burns documentary it's like 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 it was it was at that point that people started stealing 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 shit from each other and by and large doing weird things Dearest Martha, weird things are afoot and being perpetrated amongst the others to your husband. I seek for my shit to not be stolen and to return home to you safely. Sign, Ebenezer, Kansas City. (laughs) So it's weird. His name was Kansas City. Yeah, but he's from Missouri. Yeah, from, yeah. Missouri. from Missouri, though. Not the other not shit. The Stop stealing guy. shit from me and doing weird things. <laughs> <laughs> I want a shirt now that says Stop doing weird things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or how about so, stop being weird, Austin? I don't stop know. being weird, Austin? <laughs> yeah. Calm down, Austin. I'm from Cal- yeah, Calm down, Austin. I'm from California. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go over well. <laughs> Back off, man. Yeah. I'm from California. <laughs> it's the frost bank with a no symbol through it. Uh, no? uh, oh, that's too far. Well, that was my thought to run for mayor. Yeah. Run for mayor as the slogan as the, of California. No, yeah. Everybody s- stop worrying. I'm from California. <laughs> I got this. I got it. I can figure it out. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. Whatever. Uh, so I know this was a bit that my dad was doing, but uh, he made the joke that we should all sing "Happy Birthday to America" uh, yesterday, Fourth of July, <laughs> yes. of America, yes. right? So, like, like together or on the podcast? Like, like usually, like we're about to eat. And usually, you would do like a prayer or something, right? Like yeah, if it was like but, but Christmas as a but concession instead. to uh, the mixed uh, level of beliefs in the group. He was like, "Let's sing Happy Birthday, America." So we sing Happy Birthday to you, Happy Birthday to you, Happy Birthday to America, Happy Birthday to you, and in that brief silence i said and screw king george <laughs> it's a good one it's a good I, one i, I felt well, good I'm, about I'm it i'm a big fan whenever i have friends who are eating snacks around me i will jump out of nowhere and be like king george the third the shit out of you and i will s- taxation without representation <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> That paid off. I was really worried it wasn't going to pay off. That was great. You don't get to say shit. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, hey, Bryce. Kansas City, of course you would do that. Yes. <laughs> I'm a real big fucking history nerd. They asked me in the fourth grade what I want to be when I get, got older, and I was just like a history teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. And, and then you stole their Funyuns. <laughs> King George. Bryce. Hello. Hello. Uh, we're sending it back to you. All right. Thank you so much All to the right. green room. Thank you so much to the green room.
Thank you, Bryce. And thank you, everybody who listens and joins us here at the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room, Great Room, whole dang thing. I'm Bryce Castillo, joined uh, here after the Green Room with uh, my good buddy, one Corey Cranfill. Hey. Hi, Corey. Hey, what's been happening, everybody? Man, walking on sunshine. Uh, this is a little bit of critical racing theory, but... Uh, yeah. We won't talk too much about the race because you did not see it, and I have to tell you. Yes, that was a fucking very good race. Was it? It was a. It was a very I'm exciting okay race. Being spoiled. What do you think? Is it worth spoiling me, or? Uh, I'm okay either way. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you the good. The good stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, did you see who won? Nope. Uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen. The only thing I've seen is. Uh, a car upside down. I don't know what car it is. Okay. I was scrolling through Twitter and I was like, no. Yeah. Okay. So so that was an Alfa Romeo. That was uh, Joe Guan Yu. Okay. That was at the fucking like first turn of the first lap. Really? Uh, well, that makes sense. You'll, you'll see the replay when you go back and watch it. But uh, uh, there was Joe on the left. And then I want to say it was Russell on the right. Okay. And Gasly tries to come up between the two of them. Yeah. They end up squeezing a little bit and then uh, they end up bunking. And so Joe flips over, rides on the halo, basically through yeah. the runoff, through the gravel, and then rolls. So you're saying, wait, I'm sorry, we got to go back. Yeah, I got distracted. So you're saying Gasly was the lucky Pierre in between, <laughs> in between Russell and yeah. Joe. Yeah, no. yeah. Is that was that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Pierre had his own share of, of troubles oh. on uh, during the race. Gotcha. But, uh, uh, but continue. Sorry. But so Joe Joe flips over in this very big. Uh, this very big crash ends up in the gravel, past the gravel, which flips over the tire barrier oh. into the chain link fence. You okay. Uh, uh, ended up being fine. No pro, no issues. Um, they they certainly showed the replay enough times. Uh, but Definitely had the halo over him. Huh? The halos absolutely saved his life. Uh, ESPN found a great shot someone took a f on, on Twitter of the, the chunk of the road that was ground out because his car... That steel halo was just riding on the ground, and that was mm -hmm. the only contact point. Um, so uh, that was that was the big dangerous part. Uh, but uh, uh, but Joe was fine. Um, right. Albon also got into a bit of an accident and was fine. Okay. Uh, uh, Russell smashes out at that moment. Uh, you'll see photos of Russell going to the site of Joe's crash because uh, I think his. They were saying afterwards that he could have restarted that car and gotten it to the pit, but he wouldn't. He yeah. was too broken. So he got out and tried to help Joe. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, Yuki and, P and Pierre cra uh, bang into each other near the end, and okay. that kind of screws it over for them. Oh, geez, okay. But I, I, I think the, the night, the great story out of out of all of those DNFs was a maiden victory for one Carlos Sainz, hey! uh, which is oh, so man. great, and. Uh, Ch Charles hated it. Really? Charles was so fucking upset. Really? Charles really wanted them to do team orders. Uh, so Carlos got the pole position as well yep. because of all this rain that happened yep. on Saturday. And so Carlo, uh, and so Charles said, I'm faster than him. Let me go. I got Hamilton right behind me. Let me go. Mm -hmm. They don't let him through. There's there's stuff with pitting and safety cars and all yep. sorts of stuff. But but he's on the radio during the race being like, this, this is really screwed up. I can't believe how many points we've lost just this whole season, this whole thing. And so there's a great shot. So so Charles, by the way, Charles finishes fourth, yep. by the way. It's a, a fantastic result, I'll think. By the way, I told you early on that this was going to be uncomfortable <laughs> towards the end of the year. <laughs> we're, we're Between those two. It's it's showing we, we, up we were We are getting there pretty quickly, huh? There's a great shot of, of Benotto uh, talking to Shara after, mm -hmm. and he's giving him the finger. He's like, hey, 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 boy, hey, uh, oh, yeah. you don't be talking like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, that was that. And then uh, uh, joining him on the podium was uh, 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 Lewis Hamilton. Okay. In uh, second place, I want to say. Yeah. And then I believe I'm not third. surprised by that, actually. Third was Checo. Okay. And where was Verstappen in all this? So at some point, Verstappen got a piece of bodywork. They said he thought he got a puncture mm -hmm. not long after that turn, that lap one crash. Yeah. He goes in for an emergency pit, or it was after some collision. He, he, he thought he ran over and got a puncture on a tire. Mm -hmm. Goes in for an emergency pit. They change the tires, not doing anything. They realize that, uh, uh, or they think that he's got a piece of bodywork in the Venturi tunnels under the car. Uh, yeah. Which is just, they're, they're like, the car's fine. You just don't, you have like not enough performance. Mm -hmm. uh, so he ends up in, I want to say sixth. Okay. Hey, I, have, I have a good recovery. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Hamilton was third. Excuse me. Checo, Checo was third. Uh, Checo was second, and Hammer, Hamilton was third. 
well, man, my, my points teams probably did pretty good then. Because <laughs> I left it, because I, I was like mad I didn't change it. Because I was busy doing RTX. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, man, freaking Signs is going to do terrible. And I have him uh, <laughs> uh, to be first, you know. Right. Uh, with the double points. And then Checo is my other double points in my other team. I was like, man, this is going to suck. Yeah. And like, no, they, no it, they did it as good as possible. It came out well. And it was it was just a fantastic race. Beginning to end, start stuff at the start, stuff at the, at the end. Plenty of great uh, stuff. And, it, and it's especially great if you're watching it after the fact, because then you can skip through all the red flag stuff. Mm-hmm. Also, man, not even not even barely on the protest on the on the on the broadcast. Yeah. Uh, I believe the report was seven people were arrested oh. for uh, getting onto the active racetrack. Um, oh. And and if this is not me saying it was good that Joe crashed because it was absolutely not a good thing yes. at all. But the red flag from Joe flipping the fuck over mm-hmm. may have saved some lives because these motherfuckers got onto the track and were going to sit on the track. Oh, as an is an anti oil protest, yeah. yeah. Um, Yikes! Remarkably dangerous, uh, and so it is a grace that the the cars were all uh, neutralized with that red flag, because that would have been bad. Yeah, that would have not been good. It was. Uh, I got a so uh, I, I got a clip for you here. This is uh, this is. Uh, we talk about cars a little bit here on yep. Critical Racing Theory. So this is a this is a, this is a fun new um, filter on TikTok. Uh, it's called oh. "Can You Name This Car?" And so this is a, a, a Dab Daddy sixty nine on Dab TikTok. Daddy. Uh, uh, let's try this out. Can you name this car? Oh, wait, oh, wait. There we go. That's the car. Can you name that car, Corey? Oh, that is a Ferrari. Uh, um, it's a little Fire, small, so it's hard to tell. Uh, is it a four, four hundred series, four or something? Uh, okay, well let's four, four, oh. four. Uh, well let's see what Dab Daddy says. How about that? Jason, he looks like a Jason. <laughs> Can you name this? Good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, no. It's a uh, someone in the comments said it's a Scuderia, a Scuderia four fifty, yeah, four thirty, yeah, four thirty, yeah, four thirty Scuderia. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking four twenty in my mind. That's why I couldn't say it because nah. it wasn't right. Oh, nah. <laughs> well, it wasn't that right. But yeah, it was pretty close. That's before four, 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 four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a, we got a few a few more videos uh, coming up for you later in the show today. But um, um, so but yes. Oh, uh, uh, also I want to say. Oh, we got to do birthdays very quickly oh, as yeah, well. Oh, gosh. Um, but I want to say thank you again for the birthday gift I put together the oh, yeah. Did you a get, W12 yeah. the other yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was fun. It was very fun putting together. Now I got to do the, there's another, another car in there, mm-hmm. the project one, so I got to make that next. Nice. But uh, it was very fun to do it, and you can pop the little guy in. And yeah, yeah, you can pop, pop uh, Botas in there. Uh, Botas, they, they, it's got it's got a little Hamilton hair <laughs> uh, accessory, okay. so I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, um, by the way, let's do a few birthday borners here, and this will be our last chance to get some birthdays in. Well, I guess we'll have a lot when we come back at the end of Justin's Out of the Country. July, um, but uh, we do have a few birthdays here. Aussie Rob's birthday was on the 30th. Happy birthday, Aussie Rob. Uh, and uh, let's see, da, 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 da. Friday is Brain's uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Brain. Brain likes to check out marbles. Hmm. And uh, so, uh, happy birthday, uh, Brain. Mm. And we'll have some marbles on your birthday as well on Friday. Oh, nice. If you've got a little birthday shout out you want us to give you, please make sure you go to our Discord, greatnight.tv slash Discord or Discord. Dot great night dot t- I think it's Discord. Dot great night dot t- you'll find it. 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 Join the Discord and uh, uh, join the uh, uh, post in the birthday borner channel near, near the top when you got a birthday coming up or uh, in in the future. Uh, we still got some time left here. We got a lot of folks around. Uh, we do. We have lots of people here. Yeah. Actually, most of them are, and only a like I, I think only one of them is here because of RTX. I think everybody else is just like <laughs> just decided to come by today. Yeah. It was nice. We had some other vid- visitors. We had uh, Ghetto Spider in, in oh, yeah. the video today. That was fun showing yeah, them around. Up, uh, yeah. Look up everybody. Uh, uh, Ghetto Spider on YouTube or Instagram. Yeah. Is a dude fun. who dances around Walmart in a uh, spider outfit <laughs> uh, doing Michael Jackson moves. And it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, was he just che- just checking out, checking the yeah, checking so, the space out? Um, long story short, our lawn crew, a top choice, has a sales guy. Oh. Sales guy's friends with him. 
Oh, so awesome. They came out to just check out everything we're doing because they're interested in marketing and just wanting to hang out and see what the hell we're doing. Because I always tell them when we have a lawn service, I'm always calling them like, hey, we need lawn service. We're the crazy YouTubers. And they're like, ah, cool. We'll be right over. <laughs> uh, and so they said, hey, can we finally come see your, your property? So I, I showed them around. Uh, and they were, of course, blown away with all the crazy shenanigans we do. And then Leroy was like, hey, uh, do you mind if my, my friend comes out, uh, ghetto spot, spotter? Yeah. And I was like, sure, man. So I just gave him the full tour and and uh, uh, did a little bit of the breakdown of maybe the way they should look at uh, branding and marketing going forward and, yeah. and kind of help them. Because he's got, if we're looking at the Brian circle, uh-huh. uh, he's got a ton of attention right now. Yeah. And so he needs to figure out which way to go on our little sales circle. Make an email list. Yep. Make an email and list. he does not have an email list. I was like, dude. You must it's, have an email list. You should at least try. Well, this is not after things, exactly. but you should at least you should at least try. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> please watch uh, after things. Uh, uh, I, I got a question for you, Corey. Yep. We are, we are on the other side of RTX now. Yes, we are. Um, uh, and so this is a bit of a follow up for something from Founders Day. How was your experience uh, uh, at RTX meeting people? How was it? Uh, were, were you seen? Were you recognized much? Yes. Yeah. So there was lots of fans. Lots of fans came up and wanted to give, get autographs and hugs and uh, shake hands and stuff. So uh, it was good. It was good. The people, people, I think maybe recognized Annalisa even more than me. Ooh. How did you feel, Annalisa? Here, steal, steal his mic. Uh, it was really nice, and everybody who came up and said hello was delightful yeah. and super cool. And I, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange the first time, huh? But I guess both of you were there for Founders Day, so there was a little bit of. Yeah, I had a job at Founders Day. You had I was a... yelling a lot, <laughs> <laughs> directing people and pointing at things. Yeah, that's that's you how know, you know it's I a real was job. Just kind of hovering and waiting, and uh, do I need to do the thing? Can I carry the thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, but I I, uh, I I was glad you guys got to I I was glad you guys got to have the experience during Founders Day, and this was even more of a con proper. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so it was cool to see that. Uh, to, to get that side of it. Oh yeah, far. yeah, it was fun. It was fun to see everybody. Uh, like I said, lots of people came out, and it was, it was fun. Yeah. And uh, oh, I was just gonna yeah. say we had somebody ask for a picture with me and Corey. I was like, really? That's so oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, like it. That's just over time. It builds up. Mm-hmm. It builds up a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little and bit. Then you're taking your, then you're taking your photos. Yep. And you're taking, then they're, then they're taking your photo. I don't know who that is or what that is about, but I like it. I kind of liked it a little bit too. Yeah. What about you? How was your experience? Uh, it was it was good. It was uh, uh, normally when we do a live event, uh, uh, well, uh, usually not everything is handled. <laughs> 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 but they, you yeah. know, they had a, a, a crew there running running most running everything. audio and lights and stuff. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and so. Uh, you know, we talked about it in, in the green room, but helping Brian out with his, his audio cues a little bit, yep. and uh, 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 and then going great. It was, yeah, it was, it was a blast. It was very easy. That was the thing that that blew me away because they've been doing RTX for a long yep. time, also. But uh, I think I don't know if it's just because it was smaller this year or what, but it was very, it felt very easy. Yeah, it felt like, hey, get in, get out. This is what it is. Yep, we're not trying to. Like I was there on Saturday for a few hours. I felt like okay, yeah, I got a, I got, a, I really, I got a good handle on, you know, all of the, the like the expo, expo floor and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I just hadn't really t- taken much time to look at the schedule yep. to find stuff. I'm good. I'm glad people were able to monitor the situation for you. <laughs> but, it, but it was good. It was, it was, uh, it was fun. And then seeing everybody again, uh, we have Open Bayou here who's hanging out. Roberto was there with us uh, for a little while, so uh, that was fun. How was it yep. uh, checking out the show? Had you guys, had either of you seen um, uh, uh, the magic show? Yes, I have a you couple have. times now. Yeah, because yeah. the uh, TAOM and somewhere else. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. I like to, yeah, had you seen it? Um, I hadn't seen she the whole She had not. Thing. The whole, not the whole thing, yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say that day. Ah, oh, yeah, that one. Uh, Old TAOM. TAOM. Yeah, baby, that's fun. The T A O M. The tall. The tall orgasmic ass masters. <laughs> hey, I'm Brian, and I'm the tall oh, organic ass master. Organic or orgasmic? <laughs> orgasmic. I mean, because maybe if you have to eat organic to be that much of an ass master. Oh man, some people eat organic. I eat orgasmic. 
I you come. eat orgasms? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I come every time I take a bite. He eats mm. orgasmically. You orgasmically eat. Yeah. But you're also a master of ass. Am I the only one who's seen When Harry Met Sally? No, I've seen it. <laughs> Is that I've, I don't remember the what ass part, master yeah, well, section I'm of sorry, I'm sorry, uh, 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 what part of the movie are you talking about? <laughs> <She gets> <laughs> 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 Interesting. We'll never know. Never know. Maybe we'll never know. All right. Thank you, Corey, very much for uh, joining yes, me. Yes. And thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the pre show of the Great Night Green Room, Great Room, whole dang enchilada. It's really a shinchilada. Ask me about it. Uh, but you know what you don't need to ask me about is uh, supporting us over at patreon.com slash great night. You don't need to ask me because I'll tell you, you should go do it. Of course, there you get access to our bones, the bonus show we do every week up to five times a month. Of course, we've got uh, the Diamond Lounge in our Discord. You can get updates in your email inbox and an easy RSS feed where you don't have to log in or do any of that dang annoying crap. I don't like doing crap. Just in general, just so everybody knows, I don't like to crap. Um, alrighty, well, I think it is seven o'clock. Let's do some final checks and see how everybody's doing. Uh, Brian, Yo. Justin, yeah, yeah. Cody, yeah. Annalisa, yeah. Brett. Oh, there you go. <laughs> can you can can you one more time? Hello. I oh. Hello, friend. There we go. Uh, I, I guess that's why we couldn't hear it. Oh, <laughs> I opened a can. He, he op yeah, he, he cracked open a cold one, everybody. Yes. What, what are you drinking over there? Uh, I'm having uh, uh, East Ciders uh, original. Oh, interesting. Yes. I can get one for you, too. No, I'm good. Dude, we've, got to start we've got to do a show. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, you know, we're doing a... You want to do a show? Because we got to do a show. You know what? Let's... Let's do a show. Let's do a show. Okay. Let's fantastic. do a show. Let's do a show for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining this not a show yet. And the chat. And uh, the chat, how are we? Uh, an audience? Woohoo! There we go. There we go. Good call. All right. Then let's do the show. I'll go over here. Brett, I'll count you in. All right. <laughs> 